Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this week we are going to learn how we can draw and paint May birth month flower that is lily of valley and this flower usually come in white color and it's quite simple to draw these flowers but I'm going to show you few different perspective of these flowers and how we can draw flowers and leaves in different different angle. I'm going to use a simple pencil and this particular pen for today's uh, drawing. So this comes in multiple uh, numbers. I have four different numbers with me. Uh, I'm going to use two of them, one for outlining and another for the shading. But if you don't have these pen, don't worry about it. This is the first time I'm using these kind of pen. You can use simple ball pen as well or you can use simple pencil as well now let's start with the drawing so when it comes to lily of valley it, uh, it has one vertical line with slight curve in it and then the multiple flower attached with the main stem so we need to understand how we can create flower and birds so usually birds are at the top of the uh, vertical line and you can draw this in different different angle i'm going to show you three version of it so first create a round shape and then add a scallop edge uh, this is like this like series of curve you can say but close to the circle itself so we don't have much gap for the first one for the second one we are going to create uh, a series of curve in a round shape so something like this this is more visible and then we can shade it later with the help of pen and the third angle is we are going to create a series of curve only so this one is like facing towards downside this is we are seeing the center of the flower and this one uh, let's assume this is tilted towards the left side but i'm creating this uh, edges a uh, little far from this uh, main circle so that we can add more shades in between so you only need to define in which area you want this uh, curves series of curves and based on that you will get your perspective like for example if you want this birds tilted towards the right side you can draw the uh, edges on the right side itself and now we can create sub stem which is going to uh, attach with the main stem and a little outgrowth in each particular sub stem now let's learn how to draw flowers this is the most common perspective we usually see in the images so i'm going to show you four different perspective of simple angle so i have created four different circles you can decide the size of the circle based on your choice now we need to define two curves left and right so this is more on a round shape not like a u shape like this we need little round shape for this particular flower and then a curve extended both the line and then a series of curve in between so this is the most common perspective you can add more petals at the background and this is facing towards the downside don't forget to uh, add a little extended stem in each flower now let's learn how we can draw different different angle of this particular perspective so we just need to change the area of the series of the circle or the scallop edges so i'm doing the same thing i'm creating a curve in the round shape then a series of curves in between an extended curve on both the lines and behind petals so this is facing towards the left side now this is facing towards the right side little tilted towards the right side I should say and I'm repeating the same thing 
i'm just uh, changing the position of uh, the scallop edges and that is how we are getting different different angle of uh, these particular flowers and based on your angle of the flower you can create your uh, sub stem which uh, will gonna attach the main stem these are quite simple right now you understand how you can create uh, flowers and now i'm going to show you one more version of this particular flower so this version we can see the inside of the flower as well but not too much like this is like little bit open for us we can see what is going on inside the flower but not too much so i have created three circle for three different angle and we need to divide this circle into two parts so second part should be the smaller uh, oval kind of shape you can keep this oval shape in any direction whatever you like so i have kept it at the lower portion now let me create one which is towards the left side uh, keep it little smaller and the other area a little bigger so that we can see only the small portion of uh, what's going on inside the flower now we are going to repeat the same thing we are creating a curve kind of structure extended uh, form towards left and right and then a series of uh, curves at the lower circle or the smaller oval shape so we are creating a series of circle throughout the oval shape and then you can shade it later which i'm going to explain you now i'm repeating the same thing based on your oval shape angle you can create your curves and then you can create your series of curves to cover the oval shape so this is like tilted towards the uh, left side and this one is tilted towards the right side and we can see the small portion of flower uh, inside the flower and then you can create sub stems based on the perspective so this one is totally different than the earlier one wherein we can see only the outer area of the flower but in this particular one we can see what is going inside the flower as well now let me show you one more uh, perspective for this particular flower so i'm going to show you two then you can create as many as you can so create again circle this time we are going to divide this into two parts but the oval shape is bigger as compared to the outer area uh, and then repeat the same thing uh, create a curve and then the series of curve for the oval shape the spikes are at the outer side for uh, the oval shape as you can see and then we need to create stamens uh, this is more towards the center because uh, this is quite open flower we can see inside the flower so create stem in at the center and then extended stem in this particular one we can see the stem in but uh, the little portion but this particular one we can see what's going on inside the flower we need to cover the oval shape with the series of curves like this the spikes are towards the outer side and let me create one more angle which is tilted towards the left side we are seeing from this particular direction and again you can create a series of curve uh, you can do opposite like this as well but uh, totally up to you like how you want it and don't create a pointed end for this one like i did right now so create a curve kind of uh, angle and then you can create sub stem stamens and extended stem whatever uh, is needed for this particular flower 
so you can do something like this as well the more both the spikes are towards in the same direction this one is the opposite direction totally up to you uh, don't forget to add the extended form of uh, a stem so we have learned how to draw flower birds simple perspective a little open flower and bigger flower having more opening in it so these are the flowers now how we can draw these flowers with the help of pen so i'm going to create all the three perspective um, in a particular angle so one is closed one is a little bit open and another one is quite open and i'm going to show you how we can um, draw these flowers with the help of pen having shadings and all into it so i'm using this uh, a bigger um, pen and uh, this is 05 mm and uh, let's create the outer line with this particular pen nothing to explain in here we are just tracing what we want i am showing all these thing quickly because we have already learned how we can draw these uh, flowers i'm just tracing these with the help of pen this is 05 mm and create sub stem based on the angle and create an extended form of the stem for each flower and then with the help of smaller uh, size this is 01 mm i'm going to shade the flower a little bit so i'm creating few curve lines do not create straight lines so based on your outer curve create multiple curves around it you can also add little dots to make it little fancy but these are optional you can do this by your own and i'm going to repeat the same thing for all three flowers so likewise you can draw your final drawing there is no definite rule for shading and all those things you can do it better than me i'm sure about it so something like this you can uh, draw with the help of pen you can highlight few area at the scallop edges you can highlight the middle stem in so those things uh, you can do while drawing so we are done with the flower now let's see how we can draw leaves so lily of valley has bigger leaves like this so create a basic leaf like this in different different angle and then we need a slight curl in this particular leaf so i'm adding this wavy kind of shape inside the leaf to make it look like it is tilted towards the right side now let me create one more this is towards the right side the leaf is towards the right side and the curve i'm adding which is tilted towards the left side so you need to add this wavy kind of pattern inside the leaf to add curls in it so likewise you can draw in different different angle uh, based on your choice we can also do some overlapping of leaves as well if you want to so let me create one which is behind this particular leaf so i'm doing the same thing adding curl inside the leaf so something like this you can draw uh, during your final composition and then add a vertical line having a little bit of curve in it to create flowers then you can add sub stem uh, in the alternate direction you can add flower birds which we have learned at the top of this particular line and then you can add main flowers uh, at the bottom area something like this you can do while creating your main flower and main composition so then we also need a little bit of shading for the stems and leaves 
like we did for the flowers so let me create or let me show these things quickly so i'm adding stems with the help of pen then sub stem uh, like this you can add flower birds like we have learned earlier and you can shade those things with the help of pen you can create flowers you can keep all the flowers in one direction you can keep flowers in alternate direction and then for the leaves i'm again using 05 mm pen for the outlining and for the middle line and then with the help of uh, 01 mm pen i'm adding more shades into it so do not shade the curl part just shade the leaf area and uh, you can create uh, these kind of things during your main composition so let me show you one final composition of mine so i have not copied this composition from anywhere so likewise you can create your own composition you can create birds at the top a uh, little bit uh, normal perspective in the middle then little bit open perspective at the bottom or you can keep same perspective for all the flowers totally up to you if you look into the leaves i have created three leaves having curls into it particular stem having all the flower at one direction in this one i have created in alternate direction one flower is at the center of this stem as well as you can see i think i should add a little line in between okay so this one is little bit open flower then flower birds so whatever we have learned so far i have added all these information into my composition and i have created this particular one as my final composition so you can create your own uh, composition you can create your own flower so in the next video i am going to show you how to paint this flower with different techniques so create your own composition maybe smaller than this one having two three flowers and one leaf something like this and let's see how we can paint so hope you have liked this video and do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and thank you so much for all your love and support and thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video